Welcome back to the OSM channel. Today I'm gonna to be replacing the sun visor on this 2018 Honda CRV. So this is the Weiss car and it's a very common problem with these CRVs. The sun visor gets stuck and uh, you can see that there's just a lot of slop and play and just doesn't stay in position. You put it all the way up and then it flops back down two or three inches. Now there is a gentleman online who suggested, well, slide it out and lubricate this shaft with WD-40 or penetrating oil. I've done that, it didn't really work. It also tends to stain the material. So you can try that, that's a cheap fix, but it didn't work in my case, so I just bought a whole new visor. Bought this on Amazon, I'll leave a link for this in the description down below. Uh, cost about $70, so not too bad. Now the trickiest part about this whole procedure is removing the sun visor from the car. There's a little clip up there People get intimidated, think it's really tricky. It's really not that bad. I'm gonna switch out lenses, get you to focus up here on this clip and I'll show you how to pop it out. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to get this visor out of here. I'm gonna do this in one continuous shot. So this is the driver's side visor, right? If I swing it this way, this is towards the door. If I swing it this way, it's towards the front windshield. Now I'm gonna adjust the camera and we're gonna zoom in on this connector. I'm gonna lock my focus in. So here's the tool I found to be most helpful. And it is a heavy duty pick that has a 45 degree angle tip. So here's what you need to do. You get in position here, but basically there's a little tab right here. And what you need to do, you need to get this tab to go underneath the housing. So you wanna like take this pick, dig it in here. And while you're doing that, you're also gonna need to rotate this visor to the right. And this will take you a few times to get it right. So I'm gonna sneak my pick in here in between the housing and that clip, rotate the visor towards the driver's side door, take the pick, just keep working it around. A lot of pressure. And I got that to pop in. It took a lot of pressure. And now that I have uh, everything rotated, it'll just pop right out. So here's the new visor, and this new visor is in the locked position. So before we install it, we are gonna have to unlock it. Sorry, the lighting's pretty terrible here. But you can see the locking tab right there. So in order to unlock it, I'm gonna take a flathead screwdriver this time, and I'm just gonna push this in and rotate. And the aftermarket one is so much easier to loosen up. So all this tab basically does is when you install this visor, it allows this twist lock to lock into the metal upper roof housing, if that makes sense. So you can see how it locks if I rotate this. That's in the lock position. Now it won't back off. So again, take my flathead screwdriver, push this tab in, rotate this, and that's in the unlock position. So now that this is in the unlock position, I'm gonna position the camera facing up and we will install this real quick and give it a test. Now, I was reaching up in here with a finger trying to feel if there was a wiring harness hiding up here, but I couldn't find anything, so the wife's just gonna have to accept the fact that she's not gonna have lighting in her visor. Your car may be equipped, ours is not. So if we look at the connector, notice that there's a little protrusion, and that protrusion is gonna be received right into this metal hole in the headliner. Again, this clip is in the unlocked position so we will feed the electrical wiring up through the square port in the metal. I'm just getting everything lined up here. No, no real secret here. You may have to rotate things a little bit, do what you gotta do. Tilt it down. It's gonna be helpful if you tilt it down. So just feed the harness up in here get it in the hole and once it's in the hole you're gonna have to rotate it towards I believe the front windshield and that's actually locked in I didn't hear the tab lock um, in but but oh yeah the old one didn't do that no the old one did it too what yeah how did I not know that if that's something you didn't know about these visors is they actually what? extend and contract does it fit? Yeah, but the color doesn't match. Yeah, the color doesn't match, but it's fine, whatever. It, it's close enough. 
Like here's the old one, here's the new one. I mean on camera they look pretty darn close, but I mean the most important thing is it's completely functional, stays all the way up. Oh, that's so nice. Right? Compared to what it was. So much better. Yeah, it does kind of stink that you don't have lights in here, but. I never, I didn't even notice there was no lights in that one. I clearly don't need them. But anyway, there you go. That's how you install one of these visors. Problem fixed. Thanks for watching. Leave a link for this guy in the description down below. Catch you on the next one.